If you'd like to learn how TJ Dillashaw made his takedowns work against John Lineker, stay tuned and watch this short video. Hi, my name is Mark Leichner from MMACoach.net and today we are going to deconstruct TJ Dillashaw's takedowns against John Lineker. First of all, TJ had a great performance against a very hard opponent. And what stood out for me were his excellent takedowns. He had 6 takedown attempts and was able to finish 5 of them. Lineker was able to stop only one. So how did TJ manage to hit them over and over? First, let's take a look at them. The first four takedowns were exactly the same. It's what I call a far side shoot with an outside trip finish. What is a far side shoot? When both opponents have the same stance, for example when both are orthodox, the normal shoot or the near side shoot happens when the attacker places his head next to his opponent's near hip. And this is how shooting is done by vast majority of fighters most of the time. Far side shoot is when you put your head near his far hip. Dillashaw either used an outside trip finish, meaning he hooked the opponent's leg with his own, or he just used his knee to block the opponent's leg. And this is the preferred way of doing the far side shoot in our academy. Both are fine and TJ Dillashaw executed them brilliantly. The setup for the first takedown was peculiar. He was in orthodox stance, then he faked a front hook, switched stances very briefly as if he wanted to do a switch kick. Instead, he changed direction, stepped diagonally and then stepped diagonally again to finish the takedown. Very, very nice. Let's look at that again. He executed his takedowns either by feinting a punch, after throwing a punch, or by ducking the punch. The last takedown was a low double leg from southpaw stance. That is amazing. He can not only strike in both stances, but also shoot from both stances, which is quite rare. What did you think about TJ Dillashaw's takedowns and did you like this video? Have I missed anything? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, like it, share it and subscribe to our channel. Check out my MMA instructionals in the links below and above. You can also subscribe to my free MMA course. I will see you again in another video very soon.